Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about what is competitive inhibition, what is the mechanism of competitive inhibition with its kinetics and examples. Coming to meaning of competitive inhibition, why it is called as competitive inhibition. So name itself indicates in this type of inhibition there is competition. Here the competition is between substrate and inhibitor to bind with the active site of the enzyme. To understand this in a simple way, we can take the example of a rugby game. So in this game, the opponent players, whoever has the ball, they can score the goal. So here the two opponent players, they are trying to hold the ball, catch the ball. So one of the player is substrate and the other one is inhibitor. And the, they are trying to catch this ball. So this ball becomes the enzyme. So always there is competition between the two opponents to hold the ball. So here the same thing happens in case of competitive inhibition. There are two opponents, one is substrate and the other one is inhibitor. This is called as the competitive inhibitor or substrate analog because the inhibitor almost looks like the substrate. So there is similarity between substrate and inhibitor. So that's why inhibitor is called as the substrate analog. Competitive inhibition is reversible or irreversible? Answer is competitive inhibition is reversible. To understand this reversible feature of competitive inhibition, let us consider two situations. Situation 1, here there is one enzyme and its substrate. So there are 10 substrate molecules and 100 competitive inhibitors. So here the concentration of competitive inhibitor molecules is more than the substrate. So more amount of competitive inhibitor is there. So this will dominate the substrate. So thereby it binds with the enzyme and forms the enzyme inhibitor complex. So this complex cannot form the products. Coming to situation 2, here there is same enzyme with 10 molecules of the substrate and 100 molecules of the competitive inhibitor. Now the concentration of the substrate molecules is increased to 1000 molecules whereas the competitive inhibitor molecules are 100 only. So in this situation the concentration of substrate is very high it is more than the concentration of inhibitor. So here the substrate will dominate the competitive inhibitor and it will bind with the active site of the enzymes. So as more amount of enzyme substrate complex is formed it forms the product. So when the concentration of substrate is increased, this type of inhibition can be reversed. Coming to the kinetics of competitive inhibition means what happens to Km value and velocity maximum in the presence of competitive inhibitor. In competitive inhibition, the Km value is increased whereas the velocity maximum remains unchanged. How this Km value is increased in the presence of a competitive inhibitor? So when the concentration of competitive inhibitor is more, in order to overcome that inhibition, we need to increase the concentration of the substrate. So whenever the concentration of substrate is increased, the Km value is also increased. So in a simple way, so there is enzyme and again 10 substrate molecules and 100 inhibitor molecules. So when this situation is present, 10 substrates and 100 inhibitor molecules. Substrate cannot bind completely with the enzyme because there are inhibitor molecules. So in order to overcome that effect, the concentration of the substrate molecules has to be increased. So substrate can bind only with the enzyme active site at high concentration of the substrate in the presence of the inhibitor. So that means it has an effect on Km value. Only at high concentrations, it can bind with the enzyme. So whenever the concentration is increased, the Km value is increased. Coming to why this velocity maximum is unchanged. Again, let us consider there are uh, two situations. One is without inhibitor and one with inhibitor. So without inhibitor, the velocity that can be obtained is, for example, 100. In the presence of inhibitor means there are 10 substrate molecules and 100 inhibitor molecules. So here, in order to attain that maximum velocity of 100, 
we need to increase the concentration of the substrate. So here velocity maximum can be achieved even in the presence of competitive inhibitor by increasing the substrate concentration. So that's why velocity maximum is unchanged. Coming to examples and applications of competitive inhibition. Here you can see uh, some important drugs like allopurinol, sulfonamides, dicomeral, allovastatin. So all these drugs they act by using this competitive inhibition mechanism. Allopurinol is used in the treatment of gout. Sulfonamides it is an antibiotic. Dicomeral anticoagulant, allovastatin, a drug used to inhibit the cholesterol biosynthesis. In order to reduce the uric acid levels in the gout, this drug allopurinol is used. The actual substrate for xanthin oxidase is hypoxanthin and also xanthin. So when this drug allopurinol is given, it binds with the active site of the xanthin oxidase and prevents the binding of hypoxanthin or xanthin. So when this happens, xanthin cannot be converted into uric acid. So thereby, this drug reduces the synthesis or production of uric acid. 